Uh, hey guys, welcome to CSS Styling Part 2 for uh, Kids for Code. I'm Danny. I'm going to be uh, demoing everything today. So, CSS, um, we already learned about things like background colors and font size and how to change the color. Um, now we're just going to learn some more CSS uh, rules or uh, properties. So the first one is text alignment. So here, um, oh, well, right here, if you guys uh, know how to do this, you've got left, center, right, and justify. So we're going to learn how to do that in uh, HTML or uh, CSS. So right here, I have my P tag, OK? And that looks like this, okay? My web page here, my code here, and my web page here. So if I want my soccer is so cool text to be in the middle, I can type um, text align and then I put center, okay? And if I want it to be, you know, on the right because right is cool. I can do that. And of course, the default is left. Um, justify isn't going to do anything here because we don't have much text. So I'm going to grab some text really quickly. Lorem ipsum generator. Lorem ipsum is what really cool programmers use when they don't have text and they just want to put a design and they use it as placeholder text. So right here is justify. Okay, so what actually happens here is that all the words are spaced out so that it takes up the whole width. Okay, we can see that it's different as um, left because see how the words aren't aligned straight here. Yeah, so that's a difference. Justify means it's going to take up the whole width. And newspapers use these articles sometimes too. And you can still do right and everything. Um, you can also do right justify. Oh, wait, no, you can't. My mistake. Um, yeah, but um, I don't know. I kind of just forgot about that. Okay, and. Next property we're going to learn about is text decoration. So text decoration is one of the properties where you can put um, just some or all of them. So I can do um, text decoration and I can put underline and this text becomes underlined. I can put overline and there's an overline and I can put uh, line through and through but the cool thing is I can do any combination of them too so I can do overline and underline and I just do a space between them now it's got an overline and an underline I have no idea when you would ever need to use that though but it's really cool line through Oh, you, could, you definitely might need to use some um, underline and uh, line through, though. That did not work because I did not have a space. But yeah, you can do um, right here. And it has an underline and a line through. So, you know, I hope you get that. Remember that tag name here affects this tag and it will affect all other p tags. Okay, so I think we're going to learn about background color, which we did learn in the last lesson. Um, let me go over it again. So I can change the background color of background color of you know uh, any element. But things like images won't work too well because usually they take up the whole space, so there's no room for a background. But text is good. So let's say I want red, which can be 
that or just red, I can, uh, it will now have a red background. And I can do aquamarine, because that's also a very nice color. Sorry about the beeping. That's the, uh, the printer. Um, next, we have padding. So padding and margin, um, they're both a little bit hard to understand, but not too hard. So the first thing I want, uh, and it's always uh, good to demonstrate these with a background color or border, because sometimes they act similar and you can't really tell the difference. So I, I'm just gonna show you something and I hope it's clear. If I put padding and I do 12 pixels, I 12 px for pixels, it will make the text, the content, which is a text, go in 12 pixels. So right here, I don't think there's any padding. So it'll push the text up 12 pixels here and 12 pixels here and yeah. That's how it looks like. So here's the pattern. This is 12 pixels from the top of the blue to the text, and then from the side of the blue to the text. That is 12 pixels, okay? Well, here it might not be, but here it definitely is. Um, I'm gonna do um, text align justify so it takes up the whole width for clarity. So here to here, from the end of the text, the end of the blue is 12 pixels. And I can make this a lot bigger if I wanted to. So, you know, that kind of looks nice, you know. But I want to show you the difference from margin. So I'm going to show you none, no padding. And then if I do margin of 32 pixels, yeah, that's the difference. So margin creates space around it but not including the background. Uh, I'm not sure how much sense that makes, but you can always just go back and forth to experiment. But see how the background is um, in this space while you know, padding is, um, or with margin, the, um, it just creates space around it, um, outside of the background. But with the padding, it creates space with the background, okay? It's kind of hard to understand, but you can always just try with both. And eventually, it'll just start making sense. So this is what i have so excited about. I've been so excited about. Um, so colon hover, okay? You put that after any element and it will change the element okay so and there's also things like active and focus which is um they they have small technical variations but you really only need to know hover to be a good web developer or a css styler i guess so Let's use something simple, background color, okay? And let's do red. So right here, CSS understands that all these properties need to be applied to P tags right here, and they are. But with colon hover, okay, it, mean, it says whenever the mouse is over a P tag, that specific P tag should have this property, okay? So it's almost, uh, it is like the CSS changes for that element when the mouse is over it, okay? Colon hover means the CSS that's applied to an element when the mouse is over it, okay? So right here, if I save that, now it turns red when I go over it. And just another thing to be clear of, if I do margin, there's nothing. Like if you're right here is in within the margin, 
you know, 32 pixels, 32 pixels here, 32 pixels here. That's all the margin, okay? But if, um, um, and if you hover into it, the colon hover does not get applied. But if you use padding, the uh, colon hover does get applied. I hope that's clear. Um, yeah, and I believe that's it. Have fun uh, programming your websites, guys. Um, see you in class.